It's living la vida vega with Eddie and Bree. Watch them as they try to start a family with barren mayhem outside of Chicago. It's living la vida vega. Let's start the show. Good morning, YouTube. Up, up, bright and early. Gonna run some errands once I finish my hair, obviously. I am about to go back home after running a few errands. And I'm so glad that they found um, this girl that was missing from our hometown and they found her safe. We were all pretty worried about her, so I'm really glad that she's home and everything's great with that. But I need to go home and start meal prepping because we only did our snacks and I do not know what we're supposed to be eating because I guess we have to like maintain all of our carbs and stuff and fat and protein. We're supposed to have like no more than 20 to 30 grams of fat per meal, including snacks, I think. And then, um, what is it, 20, I don't even know. I have to look it up because I keep forgetting. And I think it's kind of hard for every meal, for every snack, because some they don't always have like that perfect ratio. I don't know if I'm doing this right. If you guys have any helpful things leave it down below because I don't know really what I'm doing and I won't meet my trainer until a week or two I don't know we're supposed to keep a food journal and log everything that we're eating and all of our exercise that we're doing so I'm using my fitness pal so that I could just email the whole list to him when we're done that's the plan at least I just went into my bank and they had these little things that says um, I guess it's for like a a visa or something to get travel points but I thought it would be kind of funny to send Eddie just a picture of this part it says passport and then like the little flight things and tell him that we're going somewhere as a surprise and I know he'll freak out because he'll be like with what money so that's what I just sent him now we just have to wait for his response I really wish this rain would just go away I it's supposed to be summer it's supposed to be nice and I don't want it to rain again and again every day this week has been raining and I think all this week they're calling for rain too pretty shitty weather so we're trying to measure out how much of brown rice that we can eat and um, for one serving which is ridiculous because as a Mexican household we eat a lot of beans and rice so we measured this out and that's about one-fourth of a cup, which is one serving of brown rice. But then this has 34 grams of carbohydrates. So we figured, all right, let's just take some out. So we poured that in a bowl, and that's how much rice you can have. Yeah. So is it even worth it to even eat rice at this point? At least it's something. Oh, at least it's something. <laughs> You're barely going to finish that in one spoon. Oh, geez, this is going to be hard. What do you think? Well, I don't know. It's gonna be hard? Yeah. It's getting serious over here. Uh huh. Verdad? Como que le falta un poquito más, verdad? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. Bruh. <laughs> yeah. Brought out the scale and everything. Mm hmm. What's for lunch, bro? Hmm? You can't be human, pup. You can't be human. So I got this bill in the mail from T-Mobile. And why would you even send this? Just to waste paper. Come on now. Zero dollars. Why? Like I'm not eating anything at all. Ever. And I like salads and stuff, but so far what I've had today is not very filling. Mm. And Eddie is less. I'm sure. I'm mad. You're mad? I'm mad. Because these servings are ridiculous. Mm. I feel like food hiding from me. <laughs> That's what the box and everything says, though, is one serving. I mean, whatever. YouTube for vegan meal prepping videos and what we can eat because 
I can't do it. We're at Walmart, and you know what this asshole says in front of everyone in the whole store? We walked past. There's no one there. We walked past the underwear section, and he says, "There's your Granny's panties on sale." What a jerk! It's gonna rain again. I can just feel it. So I came to the bed to read for a little while, and look what the boys are doing. So you can't see them, but they're all in my legs. There's one, the other one's still in there, but it's too dark for you guys to see. What did you do in my, my nest? <laughs> On our way to Macy's to get Eddie's watch after about a month of waiting to get it. And they haven't called us back. So we had to do all the work and call and call and call. And then finally they're like, yo, oh, it's ready. Come get it. But I guess supposedly there is a tornado warning. So hopefully we don't die on the way. Nobody ever dies from a tornado. Um. Yeah, but you don't drive into it or something, drive away. Or it's pretty fast though. Park and hope it doesn't catch you. That's why you go faster. They move uh, at like what? Very fast. How fast though? I don't know. I'm not Google. What are the wind speeds? Like 50, 60 miles per hour? Drive 100. I don't think it's that easy, but okay. So while Eddie is looking at picking up his watch, I'm at Macy's looking at bathing suits, and I don't even know if I'll ever feel comfortable in a bathing suit anymore. And that's kind of sad watching the Hawks game and I know they're probably gonna win. Tornado warning. My head is really hurting. I think I'm ovulating. Blackhawks. Win! <laughs> okay, don't. That's enough. Guess what? Tell them something. Three to zero now. I don't even remember what they're barking at. That wasn't I, great. Three to zero. I know they feel salty. Wow, they feel salty as <laughs> Well, we knew that was going to happen. I really want to see Jurassic World, but I can't because every showtime and every seat is taken. I feel like if they knew that it was going to be such a good movie or the movie theater, if they saw that it was pretty good, sold out show, like every night, then 